Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 035 underscore DIAB underscore N where you see it. You can also download this file from the website. Zoom in into this area, go to the architectural tab room and area panel and select the room command click into this garage area to place a room click into this area click into the kitchen the toilet the laundry and the master bedroom click the modify button zoom in into this area when you place a room in revit revit look a boundary or for instance we want to separate this stairwell to the garage to do that go to the architectural tab room and area panel and select the room separator command in the draw panel click the pick line command and make sure that the underlay is and make sure that you set the underlay to foundation plan and click the surface of the underlay of this wall click on this arrow and move it to this area click the modify button now if you select the room, you see that the room stops on this area. Go to the architectural tab and select the room command again and place a room into these tiers. Click the modify button. Select the room separator command again and draw a room separator from the core from the, the to the intersection of this wall and the grid and move down to this wall. Draw another room separator from the core center of this wall to this wall. Draw another room separator from the edge of this staircase. Move the mouse cursor and draw it along the staircase till you join it to this wall. Click the modify button. Click on this area and use uh, and move the mouse cursor to the left and click. Click the filter button. Check now check room separator apply and click ok extend the room separator to the core face of this wall now click the room separator in the living area you see that the room separator is no longer extend to this area go to the architectural tab and select the room command place a room into this area place another room here click the modify button click into this area and move the mouse cursor to the left and click click the filter button Check none and there is no room separator in this area. Go to the architectural tab, room and area panel and select the room separator command. Select the pick line command and click the edge of these tiers. Click the modify button. Now select the room. As you can see, the room is no longer extended to this tier case. Go to the architectural tab, room and area panel and select the room command. This a room here and here. Place a room here. Click the modify button. See the room command. Look for a boundary wall. Now, when you place a room into this closet, the room can only go from this wall to this wall. So, if you want the room to extend to this wall and this wall, select the closet wall and go to the property palette. Uncheck room bounding. Select this wall. Uncheck room bounding. Now, if you select the room, you see that the room extends to the edge of this wall because the room command is now ignore this, this walls. Go to the architectural tab, room and area panel and select the room command again. Place a room here. Again, there is no other bounding wall to indicate the area where you want your room to extend to. We're going to correct this problem in a minute. Moving into this area and place another room here. The same error occur again. Go to the architectural tab, room and area panel and select the room separator command. Click at the core face of this wall. Draw the room, draw the room separator. Check the chain option and click continue to draw until you get to the last point of this porch. Click the modify button. Now when you select the room, you see that the porch is already bounded. Zoom out. Click the architectural tab, room separator command, start a room from this point, continue to draw the room command, 
until you get to this point click the modify button now if you select this room you see that the room is already been bounded go to the project browser under the structure double click the first floor view go to the click the architectural tab room and area panel and select the room command place a room here here another room here 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 click to place a room here 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 click here select the room separator command draw a room separator from this point to this point this point and this point click the modify button select the room separator command draw a room separator from this edge of these tiers click the modify button go to the architectural tab select the room separator command start a room separator from this point to this point click the modify button go to the architectural tab room and area panel and select the room command place another room here go to the architectural tab room separator command draw a room separator from this point to this go to the right and go to the vertical direction click the modify button architectural tab room command place another room into this area click the modify button select the room command and place another room into this spot go to the architectural tab and select the room separator make sure that the chain option is checked on the option bar start from this point to this corner this corner this corner this corner and this corner click the modify button all right we have just placed the rooms into to tack our plan in the next tutorial we're going to rename this room to customize them if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question or any suggestion please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching I hope to see you in the next class. Good